Hello! Welcome to the Life with Liz show. I am Miss Liz and today, after a long absence actually, I am recording this video, hopefully for your enjoyment. Today I am showcasing from my rather extensive fur collection a very rare piece. You are now looking at the $125,000 Koja mink. Never heard of it, you say? Well, that's probably because a Koja mink has not appeared new in a fur salon for close to 50 years. The Koja mink was a phenomenon that was conjured up by the elite mink breeders in the late 1960s. A Koja mink was actually a mink that was native to Canada it was three times the size of an American mink, and it had long hair. Well, someone along the way decided that this mink resembled Russian sable, upon which the Russian government has a monopoly, enough that American mink breeders could take this unusual variant and come up with American sable. Well, it didn't exactly work. The main problem was that because of all the resulting hype in this unusual fur, when it finally hit the auction in 1969, the prices were driven up to $2,700 a pelt. A typical Koja coat, such as this one, requires at least 40 pelts. You can do the math and see that these coats were costing more than the average American house did at the time, which was in the mid $30,000 range. A coat costing $125,000, some cost $150, were out of reach for all but the top 1%. This rare survivor is in excellent restored condition. It was originally I'm doing a close-up now so you can see, hopefully, the long hair of the mink and what made this coat, to some, uh, so close to Russian sable. Now, I have Russian sable along with mini mink, and I can tell you, although this coat is extremely soft, I'm holding up a sleeve, it does not at all, to me, in my opinion, come close to Russian sable in terms of its softness. But it is a very attractive, unusual looking long haired mink and it's very, very soft. I'm going to, I've just unbuttoned it to show you the exquisite lining that was put into this coat. They don't do these very elaborate linings any more in fur coats, and that's kind of too bad because that was almost part of the... There is the Koja label. I'll do a close-up so you can see what it looked like. Again, they don't do these um, types of elaborate labels anymore. And let's see if I can get you the label because this coat... There we go. This coat was sold new at Ransahoff's, a long gone San Francisco luxury store that many of you may recognize the name from the Jimmy Stewart, Alfred Hitchcock classic, Vertigo. It was filmed, parts of it, at Ransahoff's. However, here is the most famous owner of the Koja Mink, Elizabeth Taylor. As you can see, they made the cover of Look Magazine in 1970 when Richard Burton paid $125,000 for a Koja mink that Neiman Marcus made for her. And hers, as you can hopefully see here, originally came with a leather belt. Well, the coat that I have also had a belt, which is now missing. I'm going to assume it's leather. And you can see the detail in hers. Um, mine is practically a uh, identical version. So this coat will be appearing for sale. Look for it on eBay and perhaps other 
sites that sell vintage and rare clothing um, and it will be offered at a fraction of its original $125,000 price but it is a collectible piece. Thank you for looking at the rare Koja mink.